The Minister for Finance, Mr. Ken Oforiata, was in Parliament to brief the House about recent development in the economy, including the $3 billion euro bond and Ghana's exit from the IMF Extended Credit Facility Program. The Finance Minister told Parliament the oversubscription of the $3 billion euro bond to the tune of $21 billion reflects investor confidence in the economy despite challenges facing the city. Ghana opened the tri trunk euro bond road show in New York, Boston, and London, expecting a total subscription of $3 billion. But the deal attracted strong interest from investors with peak orders in excess of $21 billion, registering seven times over subscription. The finance minister, Mr. Ken Ofoyata, on Thursday told the legislators the $17.2 billion achieved is the highest order in sub Saharan Africa. A final order book close of $17.2 billion, which was the highest order book achieved in sub-Saharan Africa. The next largest sub-Saharan order book was Kenya's $14 billion last year. The 31-year bond, Mr. Speaker, is also the longest ever issuance in Africa. It shows that the Republic of Ghana has market access to long-dated euro bond financing insights. It confirms long-term financial support from buy and hold high quality investors, including many first time buyers of Ghana bonds from all four regions. It validates the successful completion of the IMF program and the inherent trust that the investor community has in our country for the long term. Mr. Ken Ofriata said the International Monetary Fund IMF has commended the Akufuado led government for employing stringent economic policies to revive the country's economy. He said the executive board completed the seventh and eighth reviews under the extended credit facility program, making the last tranche of $185.5 million for Ghana. On the recent city depreciation, the finance minister explained that turbulence was due to pressure on current account resulting from income transfer by corporate community and increased demand by importers. But he said measures have been put in place to contain the situation. However, the ranking member of Parliament's Finance Committee, Mr. Kessel at Tufosin, said the recent city depreciation was due to weak management of the economy. He said the measures employed by the government will not sustain the recent city gains. Disappointed um, in the sense that I think it's, it's, it's missed opportunity. Uh, missed opportunity, obviously, um, stemming from the fact that this is not what the markets were actually expecting. You recall that as part of our encounter with stakeholders on, on, on the city, we recommended to the president or to the government to urgently come to parliament to deliver a message or to give us a statement on the economy um, indicating what they are going to do about the currency depreciation and how to deal with the systemic problems and the short-term measures that they are going to, going to put in place to resolve the problem. I thought that would have been the outcome today. Unfortunately, they presented a political statement trying to be very political, but in the end they had Brady nose because it doesn't gel. Uh, but let me say, that the fundamentals is that people are exiting the Ghanaian market and that is why the city is actually depreciating on the back of inconsistencies, inconsistencies of, of fiscal policy. In one minute they are talking about fiscal consolidation, but the actual result is that we are actually seeing fiscal expansion. The monetary policy that is loose is not talking about it, and so many things. So we think that um, um, it's a missed opportunity. They should have done something better and not to engage in propaganda because in the end we saw what happened. They had Brady nose.